Speaker. I rise to support this bill, but before I do so, I want to make clear that I have always believed that the referendum result must be honoured, and indeed I have voted for the withdrawal agreement on every occasion that has been presented to the House, yeah, yeah. which is more than can be said for my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, yeah. the Leader of the House, and other members of the Cabinet yeah. whose serial disloyalty has been such an inspiration to so many of us. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I think history. I think history will, in due course, favour the view articulated so clearly last night by my right honourable friend, the, friend, the member for West Dorset, that a threat to commit an act of self-harm, if your counterparts in a negotiation do not do exactly as you wish, is not exactly likely to be an effective or successful negotiating strategy. Mr Speaker, the bill before the House today is modest in its ambitions, but powerful in its mandate. It merely seeks to avert the immediate risks of the disaster of a no-Brexit exit on the 31st of October, and it thereby seeks to give the Government and this House a further opportunity to, uh, to achieve a resolution of this profoundly difficult issue. Mr Speaker, contrary to the Prime Minister's assertion, it does not deprive him of the ability or the flexibility to achieve a negotiated settlement with the European Union on the 17th of October. But it does ensure that if he should fail, as with his current demands, I think he is also likely to do so, then there will be time for him to rethink his remarks. Mr Speaker, I am not standing at the next election, and I am thus approaching the end of 37 years' service to this House, of which I have been proud and honoured beyond words to be a member. I am truly very sad that it should end in this way, and it is my most fervent hope that this House will rediscover the spirit of compromise humility and understanding that will enable us finally to push ahead with the vital work in the interests of the whole country that has inevitably had to be so sadly neglected whilst we have devoted so much time to wrestling with Brexit. I urge the House to support this bill. Yeah. Yeah.